Okay, Assalamualaikum and very good day to all of you. Okay, I would like to share with you the lecture for the third week content, which is the geometrical construction. Okay, uh, so if you go through the slide here, uh, should be you are able to do the assignment number three. Okay, but as to is, uh, lead you, okay, how to do the geometrical construction, you can refer to this lecture notes. Okay, basically by this point you need to have your geometrical set okay and then uh, suppose you need to construct your uh, geometrical construction okay the assignment for number three okay so for today content suppose you are able to learn about the engineering geometry coordinate system and geometric element and basically geometrical construction by size line angle and etc row circle hexagon and pentagon okay So let's start. Okay, the first one geometrical. Okay. Okay, I'm going to have the full view. Okay. okay, geometry provides the building blocks for the engineering design processes, and uh, engineering geometry is the basic geometric elements and form used in engineering design. And this is the coordinate system, and you already know this from your high school where if you have the 3d then there will be xyz exists okay? and somehow you will cause in terms of absolute coordinate and relative coordinate okay and when you talk about geometrical element it can be categorized as point line surface and solid and points line circles are basically the 2d okay uh, sometimes it's uh, considered so 1d eh, for points and lines okay because 2d you need to have the area and geometric element as point and line okay and this is uh, about a circle of course if you want to construct a circle you just use the compass okay if you want to have the circle and then you need to decide the radius and the point the center of circle and you draw on it okay, and this is uh, the certain of the geometrical element of the circle this can be called like if you cover a certain angle it's called sector quadrant is quarter of the circle and you have some uh, cross section uh, along the center that is called a chord cross segment. Okay, and this is some of the geometric elements here. Okay, concentric circle where you have two types of circle, uh, two different ranges of circle, but concentric at the same center line. A centric circle where you have two circles but touching on the tangent, and the center of the circle is not same because of different radius and circle scratch circle where you will uh, contain certain shape uh, by a circle that is called a circumscribed circles and in scratch circle where the other shape is enclosed the circle and tangent is a uh, consider uh, the point where it's touching the circumscribe of circle okay it's like a line is tangent to a circle if it touch the circle at one point and only one point and as that point of a tangency is a radius makes a right angle to the tangent line and two curves are tangent to each other if they touch in one and only place okay and then this is basic geometric construction okay we will like go to the first one is a bisect a line okay by setting a straight line is the function is to divide a line into two equal parts okay let's say you have uh, your own uh, comp uh, geometric set here here i draw here by using a free hand okay but just to show you the technique, let's say it's given to you a line okay, like this. Okay, let's say this one is 3cm. Okay, how you are going to construct a bisect? Okay, let's say this is point A and this is point B. Okay, how you are going to construct is, let's say this is the uh, compass. You put one, uh, the sharp point here. Okay, and then you start to mark here once and then you start to mark here once okay and then from point b okay you open your compass uh, i recommend you open by more than half lah. okay and maintaining the same opening this is the second point and this is second point so this will be the okay uh, so first you need to establish this point first and this point first and then you connect them Okay, 
Okay, suppose then you will have this one is half, which is 1.5. Okay, and then this is 1.5. Okay, this is by setting a line, okay, where you want to cut the half uh, into two equal distance. Okay, right. The next one is draw a perpendicular line from point in line. Okay, for example, okay, A, B is a given line. Okay, let's say I draw... Say A B is a given line. This one. Okay, suppose you need to draw a straight line. Okay, this is A B. Okay, you want to draw. Okay, sometimes I need to uh, go back to back with this uh let you know. And C is the point on it. Okay, let's say you have point C, maybe somewhere here. You want to draw a perpendicular line on top of C point, okay? Right. So with center C is at any radius, okay? Let's say this one. I'm using the other colors. Okay, maybe right color. Okay, using the same radius. Uh, C is the center of the compass where there is the sharp point here. Okay. So you mark here once. You mark here once with, using the same opening. Let's say this is. Uh, D, E okay. and then from here you can open your compass a bit then you can mark here once and you can mark here once so once you get this point okay, from this point from uh, D and E okay. then you can connect this point okay, suppose okay This will be the perpendicular line, okay, on top of C, okay. So make sure that the step is you need to mark here from C point, okay, this one, this one, and this point. Then you connect them, okay, so that you can get the perpendicular line on top of C. Okay. So the next one. Okay, by setting an angle, actually this one is same like uh, the one that we learned on uh, by setting the line for the uh, uh, line. Eh? Okay, but this one is an angle. So how we are going to, uh, to do on it? So we try again. Okay, uh, so we erase. Okay. Right, let's say it's given to you certain angle. Okay, for example, like this. This is the point. Oh, sorry. How we are going to bisecting this okay? okay this one is like this is point a this is point b and this point c okay from point b okay okay this one point b okay, you mark here once and then you mark here once by the same opening okay then you can have this point okay, let's say put some orange color okay, this is like this is point E. Okay, from point D and point E. Okay, either you want to do the same opening or you want to make a little bigger opening or smaller opening, then you mark it once. Okay, and then you mark it once. Then you can get the point F here. Then you can connect this one. Okay, suppose it will become half. Okay, so this is 25. This is a 25. Okay, so this is how we are going to bisecting an angle. Alright, so we do another one. Okay, 
the next one is drawing a line parallel to a given line at a given distance from it. Okay, a, B is the given line. So you, let's say you want to have a parallel line, okay, either horizontally or vertically, but actually it's a sum of set. We call that offset. Okay, let's say it's given to you the line like this. Okay. You have have this line okay. we have this line say this is AB and you want to have a line perpendicular to AB let's say uh, a distance of uh, 2cm okay. 2cm let's say a distance of 2cm so what you need to do is you open the compass, your compass, and then you measure on your ruler. You measure that you open the uh, the leg of the compass to cm, and then you make an arc here. Let's say from this point, okay. okay. You open the compass to cm, and then you draw some arc here. Okay, this one is two cm, and then you draw some arc maybe from this point. cm okay since you have these two arc then you connect them tangentially okay, okay. let's say this one this is the tangent here so now you can have this parallel line 2cm from the AB line okay for example okay this is another one uh. okay make sure that you use an appropriate tool uh. compared to me I'm just using a free hand here but I just want to show you the tennis or the steps, huh? okay? Right. As we go to the another techniques, okay. Um, constructing an hexagon. Okay, how we are going to construct an hexagon? Okay, with a uh, uh, same sides. Okay, let's say you want to draw a uh, AB is a given line. Okay. All right. So how we are going to do this? Okay. Let's say you are having this line it's given to you AB. You can try uh, whenever such that you want. Maybe you want to do 3.5 cm. Okay. You have point at the line AB 3.5 cm. And then you want to do the hexagon on it. Uh, sorry, hexagon of having 3.5 cm. So what you need to do is, okay, you from this point, point A and point B, you open your compass. 3.5 cm so that you can have this cross section so this is center O okay All right so from center O with the opening of OA okay this one okay let's see you have opening of OA okay uh, using the compass and then you try to do the circle okay suppose you need to have the, a good circle Okay, this one is having radius of 3.5 cm and then let's say from point B okay, from point B by opening the same 3.5 cm and then you can have you mark it once then from this point okay, let's say this is point C okay, and then from point C you mark here once having the same distance this is point D and then you mark here from point D to here E and then from point E to point here, this is point F. Okay, so that you can have you make you make new uh, four points, new points four, and then you connect that. Okay. Suppose you can get a a second that heavy equal distance. Huh? Okay, but I'm just using free hand, so this is not that good as a gun. Eventually, this is how you get the hexagon. Okay. 
okay, of having side of 3.5 cm. Alright. So the next one. Constructing a pentagon okay, to construct a regular pentagon on a given line. AB is a given line. Okay. Right. So what you need to do is let's say it's given to you a line. Okay, let's say I give you this line AB. Say this one is 2 cm, you can try by your own. This is 2 cm, right? And then bisect AB at C. So you need to cut this thing into half, you need to bisect it. Okay, Let's say from here, bisect this one, this one from point A, this one top and bottom, and then from point B, top and bottom. So you bisect them, okay, and then we write a perpendicular at B, okay. So you need to we write this perpendicular line on B, okay, and mark of BD. So once you write a, a perpendicular line on B, okay, uh, this will be point D, okay. equal to AB. AB so how you are going to do that all right so AB is given to you is 2 cm but you need to find certain point here let's say you want to do a perpendicular line okay this one you can extend a bit you can draw some dotted line okay so from here if you want to have a perpendicular line here you can just mark here or maybe you can open your compass a bit smaller Okay, you mark here once. Okay, you mark here once. So you have, let's say this one is I call point Y. I call point this one Z. So for point Y and Z, you can have, maybe you can open this one uh, with distance AB. Okay, with distance AB is 2cm, so you open your compass again. Uh, we have a distance 2cm, so this one here, this one here. So you can have this one. This is point D, okay, having this term AB, okay, to see M here, right, okay, with C as a center and radius CD, describe an arc to intersect at AB, okay, describe to set AB and produce at E, so you need to use, uh, you need to put the sharp point uh, C from point C, okay, this is point C just now, okay, so you need to put the sharp point here with distance CD. So you need to open your compass. This is the sharp point here, C. And you open your compass, the, the pencil part at D, this, this distance. Okay. This one. This distance. Okay. CD. Okay. You open your compass here. Right. So we've opened this CD and then you need to describe an arc. Okay, which is let's say you point your up here so this will be another point here point E okay point E okay this point E and from AB with a radius of AE okay then since you already have point AE here this point and this point so, so you open your sharp uh map you put your sharp point of your compass here a and you open the compass until e so you have this then a e okay and describe and up to intersect at f okay so from here with opening of a b a e sorry a e then you describe and up from point a e so maybe you can have this point and this is from point A. Okay, this one. And then from point B, this one. But the distance is 
AE. Eh? So you open your compass AE and then maybe you can find this one and this one. So this will be your point F. With radius AB and center at A, so you open back, uh, you close back your compass with distance AB, which is 2cm. Okay. Describe an R to intersect at F, okay, and describe an R to intersect at G and H. So, uh, what you need to do is, uh, since you have this point F, okay, so I use this color, so you have point B and point F, so you can have this cut here from B to here which is 2CN and from F to here which is 2CN so this one you can have point H and then from A with an opening of 2CN you can have this cut here and from point F to this cut here so you can have this point G and then you can connect them This one to here, and this one to here. Okay, maybe you need to connect them carefully. Okay, and this one to here. Okay, actually, you need to have the same to CM to CM to CM. Then you can have this pentagon, okay, but not as this bad as me. Lah, okay, this is just to show you how to get. So again, you need to do the first, you need to do the cross section. Okay, maybe I just mark here. The first one, you need to do the cross section of AB. This is point number one, cross step number one. And then you need to make a perpendicular line. Okay, this is point number two. And then you need to find the point E. This is the number three. And then you need to find point F, number four. Once you get F with the same opening, then you can have this number five and number six. Then you can connect them to get the pentagon. Okay. All right. So we proceed with the other techniques. Okay. Draw a tangent from point to a circle. Okay. say is given to you one point and one circle how you are going to connect them okay, let's say this is a point B and then you have a circle okay, with a distance center at A so how you are going to connect them firstly you need to uh, have a line say from point B to point A So from once you have the distance, then you try to bisect them. Okay, let's say you bisect them here, so bisect it here, bisect here, and bisect it. Then you can find this midpoint. Okay, let's say this is the midpoint. Okay, once you get the midpoint, you do the semicircle. Okay, actually. Our objective to find this point. This is the tangent point, and then you can connect them. Okay. So this is how you are going to connect them. Sorry, it's supposed to be tangent. So this, this is the tangent point. So you can connect them. So this is how you are going to connect point and a circle to make a tangent. Okay. All right. The next technique we are going to learn is drawing a tangent to two given circle. Okay, let's see. You have two uh, type of circle. Okay, two different circle. For example. 
have the smaller one, so you know, we need to switch this to black. Okay. We have small circle and then a bigger circle. Okay, let's say this one is R radius. Where this one is the capital R radius. Okay, maybe I can give you R is two cm. Where the bigger R is five cm. All right. And then you need to do the with a center at B. Okay, let's say this is center A. And this is center B. Okay, from center B, you need to do another small circle, which is R minus R. Okay, uh, so if R minus R is 3 cm, so let's say you have another circle here. Okay, so this is R minus R circle or 3 cm. Okay, and join B, C. Uh, produce to cut larger circle at B. Okay, so you need to okay bisect A B at X. Okay, so you need to okay. I think I missed one step. Okay, you connect A and B here. Connect A and B. Where you bisect them, then you can get this point. Let's say this is point O point x here and then you need to draw the semicircle from point O so that you can get okay, this point okay. and this point is called a C point okay. join BC and produce to collage at B so actually you need to do a cut from BC this one and then this is where the D point and then draw a parallel line to BD okay you need to draw a parallel line at BD so that uh, let's say you have a distance here BD and then you draw a parallel line from A so that you can get this point so basically this is parallel line okay. so this is the parallel line of, from point A and here once you get this this point okay, this is the point that we are going to find actually point E okay. once you get point E and point D then you can connect them okay right so then you can have this tangent line okay. so the next technique is drawing an arc tangentially to two straight line okay basically this one is combining a technique of how to draw a parallel line Okay, let's say it's given to you a line like this. Okay, maybe I use another color. Okay, let's say you have this. Okay, change the brush. Okay. Let's say you have this line. Okay. And you want to make an up. Okay, instead of corner like this. Let's say this is A, B, and point C. Okay, you want to make an up here with a certain radius. Let's say I give you the radius is 2 cm. So what you need to do is you find a perpendicular line from this. Sorry, a parallel line. Okay, you mark here. So this one is the R, the R, and then you connect there. Okay. 
Okay, so you have the uh, one parallel line. Okay. So you have a one parallel line from AB, and then from BC you make another parallel line. Maybe you mark here once. This one is having R radius as well. So this is R distance, sorry. Okay, okay. this one is R distance. So once you have these two points, then you can connect them. Actually, you want to find this point. This is the center of the radius. So this is the D point. So from here, you can mark with the R radius. So this is where you are going to find the this is where you are going to find the tangent. Okay, this one one point here. Okay. Then actually you can have this for example. Okay. You want to have the from the sharp corner you want to make a round. This is the intention is okay, right? Okay. What of the next technique is draw an arc tangentially to two arcs. Okay, let's say you have two different arc and then you want to uh, connect them externally okay for example we have these two arc okay we have the smaller one and then you have the bigger one okay, let's see this one i give to you this this one is having the center of k and let's say this one is with the A radius. Say this one is 3 cm. And then this one is B. This into B. With radius B, maybe this one is 4 cm. Okay, how we are going to connect them ten uh, tangentially with another arc? But externally, what it must mean externally, externally, which means that this uh, another arc is will be outside of AB. Okay, so how we are going to find it? Let's say I want to connect them with a, a radius of uh, three point five cm. Okay, let's say that one is C is three point five cm. So how we are going to find the point C here? So you need to do the additional, which is from point A is a three cm. Then uh, you need to add by three point five cm so that you open your compass to six point five cm. Okay, let's say I'm using the blue color one. So from point A, three plus three point five is six point five. You find or you mark here this one once. And then from B, you need to do additional of 4 plus 3.5, which is 7.5. And then you can have, or maybe you mark from point B. Sorry. Uh, this is B plus C. And this is A plus C. Okay, then you can get this point C, this point. Okay, and then from point C, you can connect them, then this D. Okay, by having them, this hard. Okay, basically this is the instead of C. Okay, which is the one that given to you is 3.5. Okay, so this is where we call the uh, drawing and arc and how to connect them externally.
Right, so let's do the another one. Okay, drawing and art tangential to to us internally. So just now you do externally. Now we would like to do the externally. Okay, let's say it's given to you. Okay. Let's say it's given to you the C radius. Say given to you the C radius six. The B is uh, how much? Maybe three. This one. The radius of A is two. Okay, let's say you have the smaller one. Okay. Okay, this one. Let's say you have a smaller one. B if the distance of A. Okay, how you are going to find point C? So you uh, instead of do the additional to do externally, so to do internally you need to do subtraction. So if you want to find point C from A, okay. So C is six cm, A is two cm. So six minus two is four cm. So you open your compass to four cm, and then you try to mark here. Let's say from here to here. Is four cm. Okay, this one is c minus a. And then from point B, let's say this is the mark here. From here to here, this is c minus b, which is six minus three is three cm. So then you can get this point C. Okay, once you get this point C, then actually you can connect this one internally so you can have is uh, having the c radius okay so this is what we call internally where the point of c is inside of a and b compared to the previous one which is the point c is outside of the uh, of a and b so this is how you are going to connect them internally right okay actually there is two more technique which is Drawing an arc tangential to line and another arc. Actually, this one is combination of doing the parallel line and also the external line. And then this one is drawing an arc tangential to two arcs and enclosing one of them. So you can see here, this one, the tenant is using the additional which is externally, while the another one is doing the subtraction which is uh, doing uh, having another point internally. So it's actually a combination of external and internally. So for these two, uh, Tenny, I will let you to do by your own, have your own exercise, right? So that's all for this lecture on geometrical construction. By right, then you can start do your assignment number three. So please try and good luck.